Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Prison Architect Strategy and Tactics Episode 9. So, in our last episode, well, we had our first event. Uh, that was fun. Um, and we are starting to get our stuff up and running here. Ooh, looks like we had some contraband in here. Nope, nothing in there. Um... Now, I've been noticing that Chris starting to look a little grungy here. Um, and yeah, I could hire more janitors, but I think uh, I think four janitors should be able to keep up with this place. We just need more prison labor. So it is time we maxed out our cleaning cupboard. Um, so come free time, uh, not free time, work time, we'll have more prisoners doing their thing. And you know what? Let's get some more jobs for that. And... Uh, yeah, we have max jobs there, and we'll be getting more areas with more jobs in due time. Uh, but I do want to make sure that we're getting the most amount of uh, cleaners available here. Oh, did I ever put a... No, I didn't. I never actually put a new door there. Derp, 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 derp. Um, right then. A remote door? Like so. Yeah, because we're just getting all kinds of dirt and grime and crap here. Our, uh, our guys are having difficulty keeping up. Of course, it's probably because they're trying to clean all of this in here. All right, yeah, we got all our utilities being thrown down here. All right, so it is eat time for the low sex and uh, work in lo lock up for the mediums. So let's get, let's see those brooms, Mr. Mediums. There we go. That's what I like to see. Mr. Uh... Now, yeah, um, uh, gang members do not work. Or do reform programs, as I've said, said before. So during the work lockup periods, it is always going to be lockup for them. But at least his cell is clean. Oop. What you got there? Anything? Ooh. And, ooh, and the dog's on the roll. Sergeant Sniffums. Oof. Man, rapid fire. Oh yeah, we have a couple of new uh, intakes here. Man, Sergeant Sniffin's on a roll. Can he go three for three? Is he three for three? He's tired, but can he pull it off? Oh, and he goes three for three. Nice. And a spoon. <laughs> Oy. Um, let me get, um, well, hang on. First, let's get some patrols in here. Guard patrol. And one here. One guard. One guard. I like that to keep that, uh, keep an eye on things. We need more guards. Um, yeah, two more is good. Keep it a nice, even uh, multiple of four. All right, uh, it looks like these are all set. I'm going to let my construction peeps do their thing. Actually, though, I might as well, I might as well copy pasta these over. So this is a... This facing fancy pants cell, which, well, we only have one to copy over with, but that's okay. Um, and then we'll copy these over. Boom, 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 boom. And that will keep them good and busy for a while.
And yeah, we definitely need maximum uh, cleaners. And the nice thing is because there's two different shifts of, uh, of people, uh, doing the cleaning thing. Um, there's actually going to be a lot more cleaning than a, a single cleaning cupboard could normally do in just a single thing here. Did he just pick that back up? Uh, somebody get back on the, up uh, is everybody, did I not link that back up? Not to there. No, nobody ever got linked back up to here. Well, oopsie daisy. I knew I'd forget one thing in translation here. And yeah, we're slowly dismantling everything. And this guy's just desperately trying to, to uh, deposit one last dump for good old sake. Uh, did I, have I put the, I, put, I haven't put all the utilities through, but we might as well. Oh, that's the other thing. Did I ever put lights in here? If I didn't, I need to order them. Slightly annoying that I have to copy pasta them all, but that's okay. I don't want our prisoners in the dark. And we don't want our guards in the dark either. So might as well put lights in the hallways there. And you know, the other thing we could do just to brighten things up just a little bit is to uh, put lights out in, um, out in the yard here. Put them uh, bordering every uh, entrance here. And we might as well put it on this side, too. Yeah, that's the downside. Infirmary. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are not, we're not uh, cleaning the security sites. Hang on. Staff only, staff only. Thank you. Sorry, guys. No cleany. Do not go into the security room. Nope. No, you are not allowed in the uh, in the armory, dude. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there before they lock you up. Oh, I just realized my security room is. Uh, I could you could be uh, one tile further over. There we go. Perfect. Hey, Alberto, what you doing, buddy? Enjoying your freedom? Let freedom ring. Oh, and Michaels, um, one of our other uh, guys here. How are you doing? What uh, What did you just do? What did you just do? Bound drugs. Not good, man. Not good. We're still we're still cooking somebody in here. I didn't get a chance to see if we had any additional gang members. I'm hoping to get this 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 whole block online. Um, and actually, what we can do here is. Uh, well, I'll switch it over before um, the next intake. Because we got a lot of stuff to do. And also, while we are here... Security room, please. Thank you. Might as well put our old uh, door control systems in here.
two more door control systems and an extra CCTV system and an extra phone tap. Might as well, uh, might as well reuse them. Um, yeah, let's fast forward here. I do want, there is more that I want to build, but, I, I we kind of need to, uh, we kind of need to get our, uh, our, our cells kitted out here. And actually, speaking of utilities, um, well, the hot water seems to be running. All right, yeah, so the stuff is always at the, the, the closest to the doors. Like so. And then for hot water pipe. We'll just follow along here. That way we'll get them fully ready and re raring to go. Yeah, there we go. We got our orange guys cleaning up in here, cleaning up some of the barf. I'm glad I I'm glad I I uh, maxed out that cleaning room. And I mean, honestly, you don't really need a bigger one than that. Oh yeah, those things need uh, additional utilities. The hardwired variety. That works. And we might as well move that out as well. Sixty-three of sixty-seven, but our cell count will be growing. Why did you put all the stuff in in the guy's room? Not very efficient, man. Not very efficient. All right, we got lock up and then work lock up. Oh, they finally installed that one. Yeah, we might have a few too many people working in here, but honestly speaking, that's that's not really a problem uh, when there's too many people. Because, yeah, we're paying them to do nothing, but the amount that you pay a, a prisoner to work is is peanuts uh, compared to, to a regular staff member of that caliber. Yeah, these guys, these uh, these work these construction workers are going to be a little bit less efficient. Did everybody just leave the uh, control room here? Well, not everybody, but close enough. We got all our cooks working the uh, clean the, all those extra sinks, and I've seen people complain about um, like like the food trays piling up. I think it might be that you just don't have enough sinks, because uh, well, yes, you can use one sink to clean all the trays if you work at it enough. It doesn't. Uh, I'm thinking the game's algorithm doesn't split the labor division equally enough um, if there's only one sink. Uh, and therefore, tra dirty trays pile up. And so having an overabundance of, of, uh, of uh, sinks here, like we have right here, um, will uh, remedy that problem. And since we got guys living in here, and since we have our, our patrolmen ready to go to open up the doors, I think I'm going to mark these as medium sec only. Curious that they, well, they, yeah, they don't form into a, uh, a common hallway here. So that makes sense. 
that they're each their own little block. But yeah, these two are all getting medium sick. That way we can, um, we can, we can make sure that our incoming traffic uh, for the cells that are done enough, uh, is going to be normal security. We will want to focus on the utilities though, but get more and more of our guards getting them tasers. Ooh, how's our power doing? Pretty soon we're going to have to invest in another power thing. Good thing I have a, a space for one right down there. A pissed off gardener on break. Well, why don't you Guys, will you knock it off? Stop it. That is no longer a break room. Stop trying to make it happen. This is a break room. All right, seven people. Normal uh, security. So we're slowly getting the cells uh, up and running here. I will want to keep an eye on the intake once they come in. Uh, so as did we not? Did we not hook up? Uh, well, here let's uh, door control system connect. All right, something else is already hooked to that, but nothing is hooked to that. And something else hooked to that? Nope. So we're hooked to that. Perfect. Danger is increasing. Oh, that's why. It's because they're going out of their way for this freaking storage. All right. Shower time for orange. Eight normal security coming in an hour. Can they finish enough dorms to, or finish enough uh, cells? Oh yeah, this remote door. Let's uh, take it off of lock open and let the servo, let Der, Der Servo do its thing. Hey, go get the food, boys. You only got an hour to, well, you have two hours to eat, but one hour to grab the food. Oop, and a knife. Who got the knife? Bird. Bird is not the word, man. All right, nine normal security. Can we get a 10th? I think we might get a 10th. Yes, we got a 10th just in time. Prisoner intake. Oh, yeah. Uh, will a guard kindly please open the door? Thank you. Oh, my God. Will you guys stop pooping? All right, you know what? This toilet is getting dismantled. Enough with the pooping. That is excessive pooping. Thank you very much. Um, I think... Yeah, we'll uh, dismantle this jail door and this staff door. Yeah, actually, we'll keep the staff door. We are also going to... Um, Demolish these walls here, because this is going to, be, to become one room. Oh yeah, I should probably place more, more doodads in the yard here, now that we have more people. Um, let's see here. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. We want, what we want to do is we want to scatter these around. 
Uh, we don't want people to lollygag right outside the doors because clumped up they can um, um, they can start fights. Oop. What do we have here? Notebook page. I like these little uh, the, the 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 game creator Bible st type stuff. Uh, and then same goes with these. One, two, three, four. Five and six. And that way we get people away from the norm and scatter them around. And by scattering them. Oh, yeah. Um, all right. So far, so good. No gang members. Oh, hey, bird, you are free as yourself. Congrats, man. Uh-oh. Got another gang member here. Unknown reputation. But hey, we got our uh, we got our armed guards uh, out here giving them uh, giving them the uh, good old suppress uh, suppression here. Low sec is omnomifying. Medium sec is working away here. This is awesome. The um, the nice thing about working is it adds to their reform scores. Like, see this guy here? He, because he stayed 18% um, uh, of his stay working, then he, uh, he gets a point of reform. Now, you get a lot more points by passing classes, and I do hope he'll pass some classes, but working helps to aid your reform score here. So that is... Uh, that, that helps out. That's part of the reason why I'm okay with prisoners uh, occasionally, um, you know, taking a bit more than they need in terms of uh, employing them. Yeah, I guess you guys are real eager to clean the infirmary. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. That's staff only, my friend. Do not mess with the doggies. All right, slowly uh, bringing them along here. Yep, got some drugs. And see, that's the other thing. The um, so suppressing. Uh, uh, prisoners with punishments here is another thing here. So uh, how long they st of their stay there, they stay suppressed. That gives you points towards uh, uh, towards a punishment. Now, this guy is probably pretty, pretty recently here. Um, no, actually, no, he's been, he's served two years so far, but I guess he's a, just a repeat offender here. So he gets punished a lot. So he gets uh, he gets uh, suppressed a lot. Um, but that actually improves their grading as well, keeping them suppressed. Now, keeping them suppressed does hurt their reform score here. So you need to keep a balance. So rather than, say, for example, having a bunch of armed guards in here, because um, that would cause constant suppression, you want to suppress them in smaller doses. Um, and that's through the use of the occasional punishment when they deserve it. Um, and also just punishing the, or uh, suppressing them right uh, from the get go at the start. Cause they're not, they're not hanging around here all the time. They're not going into reception all the time. What is with all these searches? All right. I need four more staff here. Stat. One, two, three, four. Cause I seem to be a little slow on the searches here. Why are you going in here? Will somebody dismantle the toilet, please? For the love of God, dismantle that magic toilet. Our staff are being less efficient about uh, satisfying their needs. Dinkle Dinkelheimer! Dinkelheimer! 
All right, let's uh, let's pump up the speed again a little bit more. We'll get our the rest of our stuff here finished, hopefully. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be good. I think we'll be good. Uh, once we do that, I think we will put this this space to use once our once our guys actually do it. How are we doing here on our classes here? Attendance terrible literacy. Ooh, a digging trowel, too. Oh, whoa, whoa. We uh, we have some tunnels here. We have a tunneler. We have a tunneler. Oh man, that is too consistent to. Uh... Now now I now I'm kind of wishing I uh, took the guy that. Uh, um... Oh, I hear you, boy. I hear you. Let's, uh, let's, um, let's search, let's search you. Again, if you order a search of a specific toilet, uh, if there is a, uh, uh, a tunnel, they, um, aha! Aha! Gotcha! Gotcha! Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, um, remove tunnels. And that cell becomes no longer uh, use usable. But yeah, see, look, they were going along the pipeline here. I bet you they were going to go along the pipeline here and then go here. Um, but thanks to our uh, patrolling doggy, we uh, thwarted them. Also, speaking of patrolling doggies, now that we've got this whole thing done here, uh, dog patrol. We are going to set their patrols all the way around. And we, uh, and this is part of the, uh, th this has been a long time coming. But this is the reason why I made my yard specifically six tiles wide. Because when a uh, patroller comes along here, um, the dog can basically pick up stuff in t on their tile plus either tile next to them. So by having two sets of dogs uh, patrolling in here, we literally cover every square inch of the yard. Um, so we're going to do one, two, three, and we're going to hire four more dog patrols because, yeah, now that we're, now that we're, uh, uh, we're in, uh, we're, we're dealing with tunnelers here. Um, we, uh, we have to be careful. But yeah, that's why you want them around here. Uh, one, I mean, one, it, as, as prisoners go by, the dog goes, will sniff them. Um, hang on. Dog patrol. Why don't you be over on that side? And then this dog goes over here. And you know what? I think I'll, I'm, I'm debating whether or not I want a dog patrol that ba basically bounces between the infirmary and the, uh, the uh, cleaning cupboard, because both of those are a source of uh, smelly chemicals. And we bagged us a, ooh, double drugs. Look at that. Yeah, guys could, uh, if you don't mind, uh, cleaning that up. All right, so far the piece has been kept here. 
Do we have anyone just randomly? No, right. No one. No one's randomly in reception. That toilet's still there, tempting, tempting our staff away from the proper uh, staff room here. I wonder if I should CCTV up my yard. Eh, probably not, because we always have guards wandering around here, especially with our dog patrols. Man, look at all this all this garbage accumulating. Our our usually our uh, our guys are the ones that uh, tackle that. You know what? Speaking of our guys, let's get uh, let's get four more workmen. That way they can do their uh, they can do their four uh, four people one at one person on break at any given time, and we can clean up clean up that damn thing. So now that cell becomes usable again. But see, this is this right here is precisely why we have built this like this. We have this big stretch of yard that we can patrol and sniff out uh, tunnels for any would-be, well, tunnelers. And why are you... Because I missed you. That's why. And yeah, there's not enough hot water getting around here. So, we are going to need a water boiler. Well, I'd say right about here. That'll get the hot water flowing. Do we have uh, do we have our direct uh, electrical connection to it? We do not. We can we can give it. We can get that going. All right. Finally, you guys did your did your thing. All right. Let's get a normal door in here. And yes, I know, it's kind of weird to have a normal door and a staff door, but here's what we're going to be making this room. And this room is going to be particularly useful to us, uh, given our sort of our, our dual regime here. This room is going to be the shop. And it's going to be a big shop, too. Like so. Um, and actually, what we're going to do here is... Where's our... You build that into the wall here. Um, so actually what we'll do is we'll dismantle this door right here. And we'll make the storefront here. This shop is going to be doing some big stuff for us. Big, important stuff. All right, tables, uh, shop shelf. Yeah, lots of these shop shelves. There and there, and then we'll rotate this. All kinds of goodies. All kinds of shop goodies. This is going to be a commercial mecca, if you will. There we go. Thing of beauty. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. This is where we'll put, where we'll put our table. Um, and then down here, we will put our shop front. Oh, it actually has to be a wall that you just build it into. Fair enough. We'll brick wall that. Now, the shop does a couple of very important things. One, it allows us to recoup some of the wages that we pay our prisoners. But that's just kind of peanuts. Two, um, the shop essentially sells 
legal contraband. And by legal contraband, I mean, we're not going to be selling drugs, but we're selling stuff that we are allowing them to have. Uh, snack bars, uh, porno mags, uh, deodorant sticks, stuff that can sa actually satisfy their needs. Um, and um, and also deplete their their personal financial reserves so they have less money to pay their fellow prisoners uh, for the illegal stuff, therefore making less money available in the underground commerce uh, here. Uh, but lastly, what it does is because it incentivizes um, essentially getting money, uh, because now they actually have something to spend it on, um, the... Uh, uh, it makes people more eager to. That's the correct one, right? Yeah. So one of the one of the things you have to be wary of, though, with the shop, though, is that um, all the goods that get brought in have chances of having contraband. Um, so, uh, you need to be careful of that. I mean, like actual contraband, the illegal stuff. Um, just like with the ingredients, the stuff that gets brought in always has a percent chance of, uh, of having something, uh, not so good like that. Uh, but what we can do here now is, yeah, max jobs eight. We can get, we can, we can get that. Um, oh yeah, it's not a, uh, it's not a proper shop yet. Cause we haven't, uh, we haven't built the uh, thing yet. And, uh, once the prisoners start working in here, they'll actually put the goods on the shelves. Yeah. As you can see, it is a huge source of contraband, but it is still darn useful. Um, yeah, I think we'll, we'll wait to, till our next morning so we can get, get to see this in action. But yeah, we just got a whole crap ton of deliveries for this stuff, but Hey, it's all ready to, ready to go in the shop. And now here's the other nice thing. So during work time, the uh, one one group of prisoners will be working in here, and another group of prisoners will be on yard time or free time. Yard timers can just walk right up to the shop and buy stuff during yard time because here's the yard. Uh, so staff only? No, 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 no. Shop gets to be shared. Eight jobs, please. We want all the people manning the shop. You only technically need two people, one to stock the shelves and one to man the storefront. Um, and actually, what we could probably do to prevent crowds is uh, maybe have a second storefront. Hey, we actually accidentally... Oh, wait, that's a shop shelf. the school desk. That's a shop front. Yeah, if we have one like up here. Um, yeah. And yeah, that should that they should be able to get to that one. All right, um, that takes care of the shop. Now, uh, one other thing I want to work on is I want to transform this room right here, this parole slash visitor table room. I've got plans for that. Um, so I'm going to get started on those plans here because um, we need more than just one parole station uh, as our prison grows here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get, where's parole? Parole, parole, parole. Parole! Parole! Oh, for Pete's sake. I, I'm, it's probably right, there it is. There we go. 
Now, parole needs to be five by five minimum. So we're going to be giving it a bunch of five by fives. In fact, we're going to do three five by five. Oops. And we need to keep them separate like this. Otherwise, they'll just merge into one parole room uh, and it'll think it's just one giant parole room and will only allow one set of paroles to go on there. Um, but uh, in, in keeping with the, so, the sort of uh, amalgamation, as it were, as you were, uh, of, these, of these rooms here, uh, I do want to get the visitor room. Hang on, don't, don't tell me. I got there, visitation. I do want to make the visitation room one big long room like that. And it's going to be sort of a hybrid room. Um, now, as far as wall internal walls go here, yeah, we'll do that like that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put little little divider walls between the pearls. It's still going to be kind of a a, a big open air, um, you know, room here. And what I'll do is, um, yeah, let's put, uh, actually, hmm, do I want a regular door or, uh, actually, yeah, we can do a regular door here. We don't need to be super armor all here. Um, yeah, we'll just put that right there. Perfect. And we'll get a couple of lights in there and then we'll decorate the rest of the rooms once they are all set. And let's run our utility line out. Oh, we already have. Beautiful. Cause you'll you'll I think you guys will like the little trick that I'm gonna do here with this with this visitor room. It's gonna sound a little unintuitive, but I think it will work out in our favor. Uh, oh yeah, these uh these phones. Uh, where's my new phone tap? This is my new phone tap. I'm going to tap all these bad boys. Beautiful. Jeez. Every square inch of this has been, <laughs> has had stuff in there. It is desperately waiting for prisoners to put it on the shelves. And you know what? It might, uh, it might behoove me to do like a, just a grand search of the area. Cause that is a lot of things and we could have missed something. Although it did go through uh, a metal detector here. All right. We got uh, intake coming on in. It's uh, shower time for medium sec. Boop, and we got scissors and knives. And this, my friend, is why we have the metal detectors. <laughs> yeah, this area is all filthy. Yeah, please, please, janitors. Oh, God! My God! Mr. Janitor! What have they done to you? Um, <laughs> he's trapped. He's trapped. Actually, you know what? We'll take that off. We'll put one of the, we'll put like a staff door up here. Since we've got so many of these things, that'll be our way of keeping prisoners out of there. Poor bastard. Just stuck in there. Trapped in limbo. Now this part this this part of the morning always makes me nervous because they exit their cells, they come to the canteen, and then they just stop. And they look around and they just just I guess are waking up. 
Uh, but that's, the, you know, before they have a chance to go sprinting for their food and satisfying their, their critical food need, um, they are there. And if one of them decides, you know what, I'm going to throw a tantrum, they'll throw a tantrum. All right, let me uh, let me just take a look at our gangs here. Oh, God, we got one of each. We have one of each. Just my luck. Although I guess it's better than having one gang starting to, to starting to stack its numbers um, and uh, overwhelming me. So yeah, let's keep them diverse and let's keep keep them at each other's necks. All right, I think it is. Uh, we are overdue building ourselves another power station. Yes, these will share, but. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, it's a little overkill, but that way I don't have to think about it. All right, uh, let's, uh, well, pretty soon. Well, we got our new intakes. And pretty soon it will be our first work time what the heck? Oh. It's, uh... Yeah, it's the camera. <laughs> I'm about to say, it's like, where are they going? We're about to need to do this. Alright, any more gang members? One more gang member. So someone's going to have one extra number. But again, I don't think I don't think it's until they get more more of their numbers that gangs really start to become a problem. But trust me, I, I have. What the Sam heck did I just do? Did I short circuit this or something? I must have shorted. I must have shorted it out. That might. This might not be an ideal place for this other generator. I'll keep it off until I uh, double check my math on uh, on that. All right, work lock up. All right, excellent. We've got our prisoners doing their thing. See, you got candy bars here. You got lotion. Uh, uh, hair care products and all sorts of other goodies. So with this, with all this stuff on the, uh, then he's just sitting here waiting to, uh, waiting for customers. Um, and once our low sex uh, stop, uh, finish with their eating, they some of them might run out during their free time to, uh, to come patronize the shop. Normally, if you're only going, see, here's the tricky thing with the shops. If you're only, if you only have a single regime for the whole prison, uh, the only way that anyone could ever use the shop is if you're doing a um, work, slash um, uh, free time, which we don't do. The only way you're going to get people hitting up the shop is... Uh, so our first purchase looks like... Uh, yep, it's a porno. Bolton is enjoying himself a porno mag. Attaboy, Bolton. Oh, and Halberry going for more porno. Oh, they are... Uh, they are uh, popular items. They are very popular items. And yeah, I'm glad I built the second shop front here so we can get uh, we can get double uh, double barreled stuff. All right, Sino, what are you buying? Let me guess, porno. P Sino, yep, yep. Sino wants the porno. Porno for Sino. I'm sure he just wants it for the articles. Uh, granted, every given everybody's literacy need in here, I wouldn't be surprised if they <laughs> if everyone was desperate for the articles. 
Uh, guys, no. Um, let's let's uh, let's properly mark this as. Uh, um access only for the time being all right folks so in our next episode we are going to uh you know, take a take a take a closer look at this over here um and i'll show you what i have in mind here so we've got our lovely store up and running our our porn shop is uh going full blast as is our, uh, <laughs> as is our uh, contraband detection. What are you doing in here? Oh, you're you're learning while you uh, while our uh, guys in orange here. It looks like some of them passed the uh, the sanitation check. Excellent. Granted, some of them are uh, are uh, being a little greedy gusses here. What in the world? Normal security. What's with the... What's with the brown? Or am I just looking at it weird? Huh. Maybe they have dirty clothes on? I don't know. Anyway, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. Whoa! 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 What the Sam heck just happened? Alright, nobody's dead. But what the Sam heck just happened? Oh no, Sergeant Sniffums hurts! Sergeant Sniffums! Man, what are you? Are you a snitch? No, you're an instigator! You're a stoical instigator. So you just started a fight to start a fight. You little jerkwad. You just took a random swing. And now... Now we've got some hurt peeps. Thankfully we have some beds. Alright, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.